Oh my god, we're on the seventh one of these. I think. Is it seven? It's probably seven. Me who writes the title will know. Anyway, it's one of the longy boys, so <clears throat> it's a big beans combination, aka Tumble of the Movie Number Seven. Uh, maybe. Possibly. Okay, bye. Pizza Place in my university offers a stoner pie complete with pepperoni, bacon, extra cheese, mozzarella sticks, and french fries. God, that sounds so awful. Give me like five! Ooh, woo, gyo. You had a missed opportunity to say ooh, woo, gyo, woo. You stop that! It's time to do 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 woo! Boo woo eyes, why do I go on? Oh, you will activate my trap card. Stop! If you can't handle me at my worst, just remember that I handle me at my worst. And that makes me stronger than you. Oh my goodness, this makes me feel powerful. I haven't even thought of it like this. Ugh, my child is fine. Your child is still running their Tumblr blog from middle school. They're not fine. Hey, how many swords do you have? Sort of a lot. Blocked. Haha, <laughs> Perry! Today I learned that sea monsters on old maps meant dangerous waters. And what do dangerous waters have? Sea monsters. Stay out of the ocean. Today I learned that Doom 3 is so, 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 so scary. I cannot play it because the little evil demons attack me and cause so much mental distress. Same. Hey, change your last name. You ain't even gay, Neil Gaiman. I'll get right on that. This is the funniest post on this site, you don't understand. Everyone go home! Nothing is ever going to be funnier than actual Neil Gaiman on Tumblr.com answering this ask! Time bending monster storm sends air swirling between 2020 and 2021. Glad to see the Weather Network started drinking early tonight. They mean the storm crosses the international dateline and not like we're actually about to be swallowed by a temporal anomaly that will perpetually trap us all in eternal 2020. Just in case you thought the latter seemed in character for the year. <laughs> it kind of feels like it did though. A B A B. Assigned born at birth. Assigned baby at birth. All babies are bastards. So, for 2021, can we mix modern slang with Shakespearean dialogue? I'm all for it, but could you please give me an example? All that is gold does not slap. A rose by any other name would smell as pockers. You'll never be bioluminescent! Okay, this one hurt. Look, the only live-action Disney remake I want is The Emperor's New Groove, and I want there to be no CGI. I want Cusco to be played by two actors in a cheap llama costume. Did you mean SCP-1545? Can we also still have Patrick Warburton as Kronk? Can we do that, please? Don't forget, public execution prom night! I'm bringing salsa! This is probably really specific, but like, does anyone else ever get like, unbearably embarrassed about searching for content for something they're really invested in? And intentionally makes things harder for yourself by trying to find it without actually searching? Or asking for it directly, so you don't have to acknowledge to yourself that you want to see it, or is it just me? Yeah! When I was younger, I didn't understand why May You Live in Interesting Times was considered a curse in ancient Greece. I get it now! Southerner. I'm cold. Northerner. You think this is cold? Because relative to your usual experience, it is! Let me make you hot chocolate. Ah, the warm northerner. Northerner. Man, it's hot. Southerner. Boy, howdy, if you think this is hot, then you should probably go get some water. Wouldn't want you to dehydrate or get heat stroke. No siree. Here, I got one. Drink up, partner. Oh, uh, wholesome regional differences. Did Edward ever stop to think that maybe he couldn't hear Bella's thoughts because she didn't have any? Damn, Twitter was fucking brutal today! I'm just imagining Edward trying to read Bella's thoughts and hearing the dial-up noise. Bella, can you hear me? <coughs> you are the background character in this psych ward, and I'm the main character who your love interest secretly desires. We are not the same. Pa. Lucy from Peanuts vs. Goku. On one hand, Goku could obliterate any child. On the other, he would absolutely fall for the football thing. Yeah. Well, why do you want to be a comedian? The free stool with a glass of water on it. If I'm ever going to have a kid, I'm gonna make a gender reveal party where there is a covered screen, and after uncovering it, it says, why do you care about baby's genitals? And then have a normal party after that. Good stuff. Help, my eyelids are burning! What did you do? Nothing! They've seen too much! You've had enough. Prolong eye contact! Prolong eye contact! 
Why in Deathly Hallows did they have everyone polyjuice themselves into Harry when Harry could have just polyjuiced into a muggle and have been driven to safety away from the threat of Death Eaters who don't know how to work things in the muggle world? Who came up with these plans anyway? Dumbledore. Making my way downtown slowly. Uh, my medieval servant boy has gone missing. I'll just use Google to see if I can find him. The page cannot be found. Oh, bother. I am deleting this fucking website. I love North America, but Europe is my favorite condiment. The history, the culture, the Australian accent. I love it. What? Reblog if Europe's your favorite consonant. Also, consonants are letters. Did you know Europe is the only constipate besides the Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> I'm making it worse. Did you know Europe is the only constipate beside the Atlantis Ocean? Follow for more geometry. I am in pain. Well, I love that country, but I can't speak Spanish. Stop! How the fuck do people just stay motivated for their entire lives? Like, what drives you? I got out of bed once and I've been exhausted ever since. You need to learn to hate life to the point where you want to get revenge on existence itself. That's the best advice ever. Me. I'm emotional. Also me. Blocks myself. That's it. I've had it. Replace the makeup industry with wearing medieval capes. Do it now. Oh, this gives me odd ideas. I'm sure someone has already said this, but I often see Tumblr described as a hell site. This is fundamentally incorrect. Tumblr is the face site. Everybody is super confused and lost. You keep running into random places. Somehow you end up stuck there forever after interacting a couple of times. The people are all strange. Everybody simultaneously seems to be from the future and the past as if time is meaningless. Well, shit. Hey, look how Dr. Doofenshmirtz had a fucked up childhood but didn't project his trauma onto his daughter. He's projecting it onto a platypus. Okay, but seriously, the platypus is clearly assigned to help him work through his issues. Perry actively lets Doof talk about instances that left him hurt and scared, and then he gets defeated, thus allowing that issue to come to a close. Routine addressing, and he never tries anything about that issue again. Shaking my head, Perry is clearly an active form of therapy. So one might say he is... Nah, Perry the emotional support platypus! Actually, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck you. Unhammer's your war. Oh, please. You can't just... The Emperor, what have you done? Don't touch me unless your skin is made from Gucci. Hey, which country has the most birds? Portuguese. Wait, that's a language. Portugal? Nice recovery. Don't you mean a nice recovery? Turkey, how did we miss Turkey? Sometimes having mental illness is like living paycheck to paycheck. But with your brain. Yeah. I just tried watermelon on pizza. Honestly, it was pretty good. That's him, officer. That's the guy right there. Take the shot before he gets away. Shout out to Spider-Man PS4 for having one of the best fake social media feeds. A more accurate portrayal on how this generation acts than the entirety of Life is Strange. I thought this was a real post for a minute. Waiter, how did you find your meal, sir? Me. Yeah, it was nice. That's not what I meant and you know it. Another waiter told me where you hit it. This... <laughs> this is cracking me up more than I think it should have. Snob, can you love me when I can't love myself? When? Now? Right now? Come here! Get your snob snuggles! Texas confession. I've never seen snow Isle Rail. I just posted this and it snowed like two inches a week later for the first time in like 35 years. What the for? <gasps> Texas confession. I've never had a million dollars. Is it happy impeachment or merry impeachment? I don't want to offend anyone. Treason's greetings. Impeach Navidad. Prospero Anno when we yeet the cad. So I was playing Minecraft and trying to build a house and I've forgotten that I had a Nicolas Cage texture pack and it started raining and I fucking screamed. What? Why is that a thing? I work at a bookstore and a few weeks ago a little black boy came in wearing a Spider-Man shirt. I asked him who his favorite Spider-Man was and he replied Peter Parker. I told him mine was Miles and he didn't know who Miles was. So I took him to see the cover of a book with Miles on it. I watched a look of confusion come over his face. He looked up at me and said, but he's black. And I said, yeah, Spider-Man's black in these comics. His eyes got big and he grabbed the comics from my hands before running off yelling, Mom, Mom, Spider-Man looks like me! Spider-Man looks like me! Oh, stop with your wholesome nonsense! I've been waiting for this year. For this year is the year of the ox. 
Hence the artist will illustrate the bovine femme and their creations wearing holster gauntlets. It's Chinese New Year and people are drawing cowboys and girls. Nice. Worm on a string will jaywalk and commit tax fraud. I support her! I'm thinking about immortality and how meticulously you have to keep track of all your shit. So some nosy historian didn't spot your old journal or code or copy of a book and call an infuriating time-based finder's keepers. It's 200 years old, they say. It's essentially public property, they say. It's a letter you sent to your friend and it's in a museum now and you're screaming! Let's abolish all clocks! The concept of time itself! Leave by sunlight, primal instincts, and internal clocks only! When's the next bus getting here? It's a surprise! That's no different from how buses already operate. Yes, I am eating a Subway sandwich for breakfast. <laughs> yes, ladies, calm down. <laughs> I can share if you'd like. The ladies are 300 rats that follow me around. They're all ladies? That seems statistically improbable. I'm a feminist. Oh, shit, that's what I opened YouTube for. Chickenless bone wing! This cat's face contains emotions that I cannot begin to describe, but at the same time, I have a deep understanding of. Holding in a deep sigh of vague anxiety and heartache, as well as tiredness on a cosmic level. Knowing then releasing it won't help. Stop! Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, your pessimistic outlook on life is exhausting. We all die, love is pointless. It's never gonna get better. Yeah, okay, bitch, maybe. I don't care, though. I'm still gonna love with my entire heart and live every day like it's my last. Cool post, but I have depression. So do I, man. Not an excuse to bring other people down, so... Fuck you. Hey. <laughs> what is he the stupidest thing that made me laugh today? <laughs> Elvis! <laughs> I am decayed. My lungs are full of thorns and mildew. My bones are held together by vines. I am fragile. Be gentle with my corpse. Get out of bed. You're going to school whether you like it or not. I refuse! Either I never get to the scene that I'm desperate to write, or I'm actually gonna get to the scene and can't write it because I've hyped it up and perfected it so hard in my mind that I'll never be able to capture it in the words. Yeah. Hey! Nose flash, Canadians! Hockey isn't your national sport. It's lacrosse. So shut the hell up about it being your sport. What's your national sport, America? War! City <laughs> across! You know what's wild? Your body, like... You know, the one you're existing as? Your mind prison? It's not a wholly independent entity. It's an ecosystem. You're a bog that's self-aware. Imagine if a swamp could telepathically communicate a desire for Chicago-style deep dish and then just have it. No wonder why my stomach hates me. The fish are confused as fuck. So I was trying to log into my old email account. I couldn't remember the password. So my security question that I set up for myself two years ago pops up. And it is, why? Like, why did Dick move? I don't know the fucking answer. Why? Why work me? What are you trying to ask me, you little shit? So in a fit of rage, I type in, because fuck you, that's why. Ding. Password reset. It used to be that Super Mario games could clearly be divided into games in which Mario is a furry and games in which Mario is not a furry. But then Super Mario Odyssey had to come along and muddy the waters. And now we got to argue about whether possessing funny cartoon animals is the same as dressing up as one. I'm sorry, we gotta argue about it? Of course we do! How else we gonna know whether the rule that the games where Mario is a furry are better than the games where Mario is not a furry continued soul true? I suspect you could go at this from a different angle. The fact that Mario Odyssey is good means that it is a Mario is a furry game. And thus possessing cartoon animals is functionally identical to dressing up as them. This is some crazy ass shit we're thinking about here. Okay, but do the Mario swinging your arms from side to side lyric is talking about the floss. How many times are we going to have this conversation? AS LONG AS I LIVE AND BREATHE! No homo, why not? We're out of stock, we're expecting another shipment about a week. In the meantime, enjoy our other products such as bananas, pancakes, aromatics, ace case, and our gender line, trans pants, non-binary code, and gender fluid drinks. Thank you for shopping at queer for you Y'all had absolutely no business making my shit post this fucking funny. I like villains who are just, like, evil for the attention. Villains who are like, I can't stop being evil whenever I want. I'm only holding the city ransom to get my own Wikipedia page. I'm sorry, did you mean? Eating chips with chopsticks is unironically galaxy brain. Your fingers don't get greasy and it lasts for longer. F fork? Oh yeah, I'm gonna stab my crunchy foods and make them fall apart like an absolute absent-minded dunce fool clown jester. Like a monstrous moron. An idiot of Shakespearean proportions. A Creighton! 
they probably also thought you meant like chips as in like British chips, which are fries, but okay. Hey, we should just start writing our text posts like YouTubers. What's up, gamers? I got a pretty awesome post for you today. I think you're gonna like it a lot, so let's get right to it, shall we? I wanna die. All right, that's all for today, guys. Please give me a like, leave a reblog, and don't forget to smash that follow button. I'll see you in the next post. Bye-bye! You know what? Fuck this. I'm Panix the Disco. And y'all don't test me. I will unchemical your romance, too. Yeah, well, fuck you, too. I don't give a fuck. I don't know. On else your Sienna. <laughs> like that would. Uh... What did you do? Vaporwave sounds like what drowning in a mall fountain would feel like. That's exactly what it is. I've never felt more offended, but more in agreement with anything in my entire life. Welcome to Plastic Surgery Addicts Anonymous. I'm seeing a lot of new faces in the crowd this week, and I just have to say, I'm really disappointed. Do British people really eat beans on toast as a meal? In America, with everyone ignorant. It was just a question. Damn, no need to get hostile. Go eat some beans on toast. I am 41 Cheetos tall. Why did you think you need to measure yourself in Cheetos? We were out of Doritos. Y'all mentioned dice, laundry pods, bath bombs, but you're forgetting about the most chewy thing of all. DS styluses. Ah, the forbidden pockies. What is happening? Enough, PogChamp, this and Epic Gamer that. Stop it with this modern slang. I say we bring back phrases like the bee's knees and G's the wheeze and applesauce. Bring back the superior slang. Hey, right, Boomer, calm down. Quite sure that kiwi is a fruit and not an accent? I thought it was a bird. Thought it was shoe polish. What the fuck are you two talking about? They call me Seven Knives because that's how many knives it takes me to cook things because I keep putting them in the fucking sink without thinking about it. Nice to meet you. Does anyone actually know what they're doing or are we all just hopelessly wandering? Because at this point, that's what it feels like for me. My sanity at this point is questionable, but hey, at least I can make a pretty good grilled cheese. I think if you wanted to eat white chocolate, you could just eat candle wax instead and not even notice the difference. <laughs> you're just mad I'm eating this delicious white chocolate and you're not. My God. This isn't white chocolate! I like wearing oversized sweaters. Not because they're extremely comfy and cuddly, but because whenever the sleeves are really big, I get to flop them around and smack people. I love sleeve smacking people. Like, flippity flop, you need to stop. Whippity whap, don't talk crap. All right, that's it. Might get hate for this, but it needs to be said. Liking a conventionally pretty, especially anime-esque person with horns or pointy teeth slapped on him doesn't make you a monster fucker! That isn't a monster. It's a Halloween costume. Scales and tails with a not entirely human face are a bare minimum requirement for monster fucker bait. And your five dollar gotcha waifu isn't thick. Good addition, you're right, and you should say it. Sometimes I misgender myself, and it's so funny, because it's like, bro, what the hell? You're supposed to be on my side. The betrayal. Not to sound like a goth elitist, but if you haven't died, you're a poser. Well then, Jesus is goth. I don't make the rules. The original goth. So now I'm sorry, but picked you up and put you in a backpack. This is mine now. Help! I'm being blown! Me. I don't... I don't need this. My monkey brain. Steel sword! Steel sword! Steel sword! Steel sword! My new favorite pastime. Watching actor interviews and pretending that it's the characters pretending to be actors playing themselves. So when Tom Holland leaks stuff, it's Peter Parker slipping up? Have you seen him attempt to keep his secret? Of course it is! Gas stations are like land lighthouses. I... It's too early for this. Thinking about my 200 different embarrassing and completely self-indulgent daydream universes that I've actually taken time out of the day to create content for. And I've never shared with anyone because they're that embarrassing, but not being able to stop because they're one of the few things that bring me genuine joy. Yeah... Pucky. Why are you like this? Because Pokemon gave me satanic powers. Early 2000s parents were right! Writing prompt. You live in a world where pictures are always in color until the person photographed dies. While looking through your grandparents' closet, you find a picture dated back to 1826. The picture hasn't faded to black and white. You realize there's a turtle in the background and carry on with your day. <laughs> God damn it. I hate it when I time travel and when I come back and my soup is cold. You know, travel back in time so it's warm again. Idiot. This comment left by the cane, irresponsible time travel game. Oh, you! You insolent little worm! You come into my blog and you dare to call me an idiot? 
You obviously do not understand the intricate magics behind time traveling, nor the complexity of soup thermodynamics. You are but an ignorant fool. Amazon introduces the soundproof home learning dome. Okay, but can we talk about the bucket with the toilet paper next to it? The math is also wrong. Well, I'd be doing the math wrong too if I was stuck in a bubble running out of oxygen. You get oxygen when you solve the equation! Wow, I can't believe you like villains. You know they killed people, right? Yeah, and it was funny and sexy! What's your point? I love myself, but I don't love me back. I have never related to anything so fucking hard. So January's almost over, huh? Fucking what's next? February? Give me a break! Guys, are Kingdom Hearts characters Disney canon or are Disney characters Kingdom Hearts canon? Like seriously, the fuck's up with that? But more importantly, are Kingdom Hearts characters and Disney characters canon to Final Fantasy? Me. Okay, I will not make this drawing hyper-saturated this time. Increase the heat. Hi. Rated M for memes. The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, and Breaking Bad were just super hulak for men. Game of Walking Bad. Good responses to getting stabbed with a sword. Rude? That's fair. Not again. Are, are you gonna want this back or can I keep it? Behind every girl boss is another bigger girl boss. They call this a pyramid scheme, I think. I think they prefer the term MLM. I think you're thinking of WLW? You're right, I'm sorry. Multi-level marketing scheme. Ah, <sighs> good work, Els. If we allow the communists to win, the game of golf will be lost forever! Promise? I contain multitudes, and they're all incredibly annoying. And sexy. And sexy. The first thing our new hire did was fix a bug that's been bugging him forever as a user prior to joining. He then breathed a sigh of relief and submitted his two weeks' notice. Well, easier than submitting a bug report. What is the code entomologist used for? I stepped on it, I'm so sorry, it was dark out and the specimen was very small. Impromptu dissection was performed under less than optimal lighting conditions. Impromptu dissection is an alarming phrase in any context and I thank you for it. What's biologist for? This little fucker bit me and I yoda into the undergrowth on reflex. Specimen was removed from the study pool due to abnormal interaction responses. Nice. The impulse to just make weird noises for no reason is something I have to ignore, like, 24-7. I thought it was just me. Microwave. Me and my friends in perfect unison loudly. Draws a gay little clown that pisses you off. Excellent self-portrait, me lord. Ha! <laughs> Got it. Things we've learned in 2021. One, a single subreddit made of trolls can break the US economy. And two, a single ship and a storm can break international trade. And it's only month three. I wonder what cool new anti-capitalist skills we'll unlock later. Almost had a coherent thought today. Whew, that was a close call. A son tells his father, I have an imaginary girlfriend. The father sighs and says, You know you could do better. Thanks, Dad, the son says. The father shakes his head and goes, I was talking to your girlfriend. <laughs> Got him twice. Okay, blueberries. They're blue, but mashed, they're purple. And when skinned, we see the insides are green. What the ever-living fuck, blueberries? And this should concern you. Look at the wheel. Mixing blue and green should not make purple. Fucking blueberries broke the color spectrum! Oh yeah, I'll watch insert mega popular easily access Netflix thing at some point. And then I didn't. What do you think Doofenshmirtz's reputation is among the background dancers he's always bringing in? Well, there's this eccentric pharmacist who lives in a penthouse and likes to put on musical theater for his pet duck. It's a weird gig, but he pays on time and he's very professional during rehearsal. Oh my god, innovative doorknob. Even doorknobs can be improved upon. If a door is locked, it should not be able to even try and open. No, you may not enter my room. And this doorknob says you're not even allowed to try. This is my answer to privacy now. <laughs> Homestuck phantom. <laughs> you literally have a Danganronpa icon. Ah, the Capulets versus the Montagues. Two houses, utterly devoid of dignity. Gender is a performance, and I'm badly reenacting a Monty Python skit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Why did Dwayne the Rock Johnson's family get tested for COVID-19? <laughs> they couldn't smell what the Rock was cooking.
<laughs> Most insane thing happened to me today. Well, what happened? Please respect my privacy. What are you, every Facebook fake post ever, Pucky? Prompt! You summon a demon, but it comes out wearing cat ears and one of those belt tails from Walmart, and it says, Ooh, I send the demon back to hell forcefully. Unless their sexuality is otherwise stated, here is the criteria characters must meet to be bisexual. One, I like them. And everyone tagging this with also trans? One, absolutely. Meanwhile, at Tumblr, be a functioning website. <laughs> be a functioning website. Just <laughs> you can carbon date this post by its shade of blue. Today I learned it would take 260 billion balloons to lift the Pentagon. Goodbye forever, you five-sided piece of shit. Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. Imagine, if you will, a person who cannot use abbreviations or shortened terms. Have you heard the latest moving picture experts group audio layer 3 by Panic at the Discotech? Discotech? Ah, someone didn't know disco was short for that, did they? How, how did you learn this information? I'm old and I know how to use Google. Seriously, guys. Google things. Okay, but notice sadness is in charge in the mother's mind, and anger leads in the father's mind. Perhaps her mother is prone to depression, and her father has anger issues. Perhaps they too learned how to deal with their problems. Imagine using this cartoon to explain mental illnesses to children, teens, and even adults. Hi, I work at a mental health clinic, and we have already started using this movie to help kids identify feelings and work on controlling them. We have action figures so that nonverbal kids can still show us what feelings they're having. This movie really is revolutionary for mental health services everywhere. This makes me so happy. I hate being neurodivergent sometimes because someone will be like, Hey, check out this piece of media! And I'm like, I would love to. Unfortunately, if I do, I will probably become hyperfixated on it and lose my current hyperfixation, and I don't want to do that because I love my current hyperfixation! Okay, Tumblr, you need to stop being a mood, or I have to go see a specialist again. So glad we as a culture got over ironically liking Shrek as a meme and went back to liking Shrek as a good movie. Studies show that documentaries are now more popular than ever. I don't give a fuck, I'm watching Shrek. You better be having a good day, clown. You absolute moron. You better be taking care of yourself, fool. Absolute imbecile. Better know people that are here to support you. Better be eating at least two meals a day and getting a healthy amount of sleep, dumbass. You... Come into my inbox and tell me exactly what I needed to hear today! Hello, yes, I am indeed real. And you can get me at a local store near you, and by local I mean makeshift. Do not mind that my mouth does not open in this form. I had to sacrifice it in order to be physically able to exist. I have forgot the words. Anyway, enjoy the show! Bye. Remember, bird watching goes both ways. That's vaguely threatening. Thank you. I put on the cat ears. I put on the maid dress. I enter the Paris catacombs. I am the thing that chases you. <laughs> catacombs. So, are you finger guns bisexual or an awkward thumbs up bisexual? Everyone keeps saying both and I suddenly feel regretful I asked a bunch of bisexuals to make a choice. Shame on you. In the UK right now, a train is delayed as a cat is sitting on the roof and refusing to come down. No gods, no masters. Now this is the news I want on my dash. A storm blew away 25% of my roof last night. <laughs> Oof. I had to stop, look up from my phone, and take a deep breath before reblogging. I am equal parts angry and impressed. Imagine, if you will, pineapples, except pronounced like Minneapolis. No! What's wrong, linguistics paradox? Don't you want to eat your... Pineapolis? All these Deadpool comic runs are ridiculous. Deadpool versus this. Deadpool kills that. How about Deadpool has a nice day? Deadpool is validated by his peers. Someone loves Deadpool because of his flaws, not in spite of them. Something nice happens to Deadpool and is not immediately ripped away from him by a cold and unfeeling universe. Did... did Deadpool write this? Deadpool wrote this. You know what? Fuck this! Uncat your girl! Yeah, well, fuck you! I'm boys your cat! Ah, neutering. I have a transparent image of my cat in a weed hat. Snail. That's a snail. Do you. <laughs> Gary. Hmm. Freudian slip and slide. Don't add images. 
And then I'm sure the internet immediately and deliberately added images. Maybe you think a ship is problematic, but ask yourself this. Is it wedged sideways in the Suez Canal disrupting 12% of global maritime trade? I didn't think so. Okay, so you know Hades and Cerberus, right? I know everyone likes to think about Cerberus as just Hades' dog, but like, Cerberus is the child of Typhon, the father of monsters, who I think was a sentient creature, so I like to think that makes Cerberus a sentient creature, too. I mean, imagine. Oh, he's a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are my spotty boy. Patronize me not, son of Kronos, lest I swallow you whole. Well, it looks like someone isn't getting any steakies for Dindin. Wait, no, I was kidding, please. Octopuses can fit through any gap larger than their beak. Ah, what a beautiful octopus. Why are my dreams so weird? I was in a Pokemon universe and my Pokemon was like a poisoner ghost type cat. And also I was part snake. Also, a priest called me a fucking idiot in it. Priests are just like that. I mean, to be fair, I was being a fucking idiot. There's a story here. One might say I'm a non-binary audio editor. A mix master, if you will. <laughs> Okay, you know what? On anime's your Sienna. <laughs> nice try. Wait. Wait. PUT IT BACK! How to do everything last minute. A novel by me that I'm going to write later. Dark mode is for the weak. Burn your eyes for the sun gods! They say while the post is in dark mode. The contrabass saxophone is such an absurd instrument. Look at this thing! I give you the contrabass tuba. Why is it real? I don't know. Oh, baby, talk dirty to me. Okay, but have y'all seen the double contrabass flute before? What is that? What is that? You know what's even better? The hyper bass flute. Oh, my God. And my counter, the piccolo trombone. What? 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 You guys realize that this scene means that a group of animators would have had to ask themselves, Okay, now how would a tortilla move? Reasons why I love Pixar. Just took a dip in a pool past pool hours. I'm a bad boy. Yeah. What bad boy thing did you do today? I went to work. Lame. Next time, try small acts of mischief. Or you could just do war crimes instead. And, you know, j j just the thought. Hey, Tumblr! According to biological studies, bears are just extremely large hamsters. Bye! Wait, wait, what? What? Come back! I have a lot of questions! I think my toilet has anger issues. Because whenever I flush it, it completely loses its shit. <laughs> my mind works like a toaster. I put in a task, I forget about the task, my mind suddenly accomplishes what I want, startling everyone close by. <sighs> Sand. Okay, can y'all stop helping me find mental illnesses that I might have? Please! I can't go to any more specialists, please. Five asexuals are playing cards. One starts to explain the rules. I'd say no cheating, but there are already five aces at the table. <laughs> ah, got him. Baby girl, I know video game lore you wouldn't even care about. I really want a villain who is McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's person facing a hero who is just one black coffee person. <clears throat> Every single fucking post about good villain hero dynamics always comes back to these two. Always. <gasps> My parents are asleep. Quick, reblog this post with skeleton saying bad words. Mm-hmm. Tax evasion. And finally, when you forget your backpack. You know, I have people who go out of their way to tell me that I say words wrong when it comes to my videos, and then some ask if it's part of the comedy. The idea that I would mispronounce words for the sake of jokes is the ultimate exaggeration. Today I learned that only 20 people have been boiled alive in Yellowstone National Park. But with your help, we can change that. For just a small monthly donation, you can help us sacrifice the chores to Old Faithful every single day. Is that... Is that butter? No, it's Stonehenge. <gasps> I can't believe it's not butter. I'm so done with this site. It's not my powerful, are you? I'm not able to answer that for legal reasons. The mug root beer dog looks like a rant sona. 
This dog is about to call someone a snowflake. Guarantee it. Writing prompt. Two magicians made an oath when they were children that they would never harm each other. Now they are mortal enemies and have resorted to inconveniencing and annoying each other. Knowing if they harm one another, they'll die. I want to watch this show so bad. European culture is just hating all other European nations. Like, yeah, we're at peace, we're cooperating, no tensions or anything. But if I ever have to talk to a goddamn Belgian... Waffles are greater than windmills. I will annex you! Why does the periodic table just look like a bunch of pronouns? New pronouns just dropped, get them while they're hot! Oh, snap, I always wanted to be Mercury. All right. Can you describe the culprit using this pit crew creator? Sometimes it's annoying when your character can't jump in a video game. But how often do you jump in real life? Do you even remember the last time you jumped as a question I never anticipated, leaving me feeling so hollow and terrified? A scaleless snake. They're scaleless as a result of mutation. I feel like I'm seeing something that I shouldn't have the ability to perceive. He nakey. Lou Noodle. A loodle, if you will. He looks like the snake-shaped sphinx cat. <laughs> he kind of does. Why do people in D&D each occupy a five foot by five foot square? How far apart do you think people need to be? Why are the D&D minis afraid of touching? Those are bold words for someone in stabbing range. These posts match each other so perfectly I thought they were the same post at first. Today I learned that dogs, cats, and other carnivores have taste buds specifically tuned for water. But humans don't. And can't taste water. What are they tasting in toilets and puddles that we can't? First we were denied shrimp colors and now this? Gender is a coin that everyone said was going to land on heads or tails, but I turned mine into one of those pressed pennies from the museum. It's got a dinosaur on it. I love it. Shout out to every fast food employee who has offered to make my order a slightly different way just so it comes out cheaper. Yeah, can I get a 20-piece McNugget? Yeah, can I get a 20-piece nugget? We're actually having a BOGO deal on 10-piece nuggets. Would you like to do two of those? Yes, and I'm going to kiss you on the mouth when I get to the window. Please. Stop adding there are two kinds of people, and that escalated quickly to text posts. There are two kinds of rapid escalation. Well, that people twice, Lee. What the fuck kind of turtle is that? Science of Tumblr, can you please explain this? <clears throat> Mitochondria. Thank you, Science Side. <clears throat> comfy. Fish, no! But comfy. Fish, please, you can get hurt! Ah, uh, so sleepy. FISH NO! You know what? Skyrim was right. Tomato soup does restore 10 HP. Well, no. Writing prompt. You have the power to heal others. And yet, you are a villain. Ow! Oh, I'm the American healthcare system. Okay. I know antipasto means appetizer, but I still like to believe that it refers to the pasta's arch nemesis. You ever see something and think, wow, that is violently American? Oh, do you mean like the glazed donut bacon cheeseburgers? I exactly. What is that? Why do stores always say gifts for her? Who is she? Why are billions of Americans being encouraged to buy gifts for this entity? Someone explain. We must appease her. Cartoons? Isn't that for kids? I look up and smile. Yes, it is. Suddenly my appearance shifts and shrinks as I become a child. All my money turns to Monopoly money and all my bills are gone. My adult responsibilities vanish. Finally, the spell is broken. And I am free. Your yeah, libraries are cool and all, but have you ever found a library with a secret doorway disguised as a bookshelf that leads to a smaller hidden library filled with ancient books full of mysteries and forgotten knowledge? Me neither, and I'm sad about it. Biology says I'm 70% water. Chemistry says I'm 99% hydrogen, oxygen, carbogen, and nitrogen. Physics say I'm 99.9% .9 empty space, and psychology says I'm 100% confused! Which is it?! A blonde guy with a magic hammer goes after his colleague, a big dude with giant fists and an anger management problem, teams up with a fierce female fighter with a tragic past, all while trying to navigate a strange, colorful world forever locked in by a sensationalized competition and run by an old man with a flamboyant demeanor. Along the way, he runs into a disgraced royal heir with a penchant for green and mischief. Is the movie Thor Ragnarok or Wreck-It Ralph? So, this gave me chronic whiplash. Enjoy! God damn it, I'm so funny on a daily basis, and the world just misses my genius banter! Hey guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but apparently Mozart is the original Catboy. 
Less well known, however, is that Mozart liked to imitate a cat. He'd be rehearsing an opera with his singers where he'd suddenly grow bored and leap over tables and chairs, meowing and turning somersaults. He even stop! I heard enough! Mozart is the one true cat boy. Behold, a moose raised from Bebe and used by this Canadian in his logging business. The moose leaves for a few weeks in the spring, but always returns. You know, you can try and make fun of Canada all you want. But we know you're only doing it out of jealousy, because Canada is awesome. One of the worst feelings is when you feel a hyperfixation slipping. Like, no, you're so sexy. Please keep giving me the happy chemical. Me, sees the number 69. That's, that's the sex number. Holy shit. Nice. Sees the number 420. <laughs> that's the wee number. Look at that shit. Nice. Sees the number 666. Oh! Woo! Okay. Time to work. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's do this. Let's get started. Just gonna start now. Yep. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Right. <laughs> May I present to you the soft cabinet? No. Unpresented, please! Today I learned while in college, the writer of Night at the Museum would regularly visit museums while high on acid. Yeah, that... that makes sense. I'm a writer, I whisper, as I spend several hours watching YouTube with a Word document up making no effort to actually write. If I was rich, I'd hire a harem of clowns to chill in my mansion and do clown stuff. The fact you used the word harem to describe a group of clowns is extremely worrying to me. I know what I said. Me running after garbage truck. Wait, you forgot me! I'm Anxiety. Anxiety the Hedgehog. It, is there any context to this? No. I don't like to call Frankenstein's creation a monster because he seems pretty chill, so I just call him Frankenstein's little boy. Yeah, that's just Frankie's kid. What's it to you? Yeah, that's Frankie's kid. His pop don't treat him right. Neither do most of the people around here, but he ain't a bad kid. Just in a bad situation, you know what I mean? C can we have this? Hey, start referring to things you own as your inventory. Jackie, did I give you my keys? I don't know, let me check my inventory. Yeah, mom, hold on a sec, I just need to equip my shoes. Hey, you wanna go downtown? I can conjure an Uber. I think it's important to bear in mind that complex doesn't necessarily mean nuanced. A thing can be complicated, and also very, very stupid as hell. The file 267-2009-03-3109-1115 utc.dpeg is a system file. If you remove it, Windows or another program may no longer work correctly. Are you sure you want to permanently delete it? I'm just trying to clear up my hard drive. What is this bullshit? Ma, nah, the load bearings over the hedgehog JPEG. I mean, he carried all of Sonic 06. MLM is just WLW upside down, and WLW is just MLM upside down. I don't know what this means. I think it means we're friends. Oh, I see the confusion. It's just referring to being switched to Wumbo. You know, Wumbo. An antonym for the word many, often learned in first grade. The study of Wumbo is also known as Wombology. Behold the Grand Wizard and his young apprentice. These guys kind of look like some Zelda merchant that sells you artichokes and pumpkins, respectively. I mean, they do. Like, no offense to my friends and family, but if I had a chance to abandon this timeline for a medieval fantasy land, I would absolutely do it. Goodbye, student loans and depression. Hello, cool magic shit and most likely an early death by the sword. As it should be. Have fun shitting in outhouses and losing loved ones to the plague, trademark. I said medieval fantasy, not actual medieval times, you impudent fool. All right, have fun crapping in outhouses and losing to loved ones to the goblin raiders, trademark. That's more the fuck like it. Woo, okay. Time to work. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, yep, okay. Yes, sir, let's do this. Let's get started. Just gonna start now. Yep. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Frequently bought together. Do not separate them. Ah, uh, the start of Pokemon in Ohio. Never stop collecting little things to make you happy. Rocks, buttons, Feathers, flowers, sticks, bugs, bones, never stop. How did a crow get a Tumblr? With his fucking email and password, how'd you get here? Think about jelly-filled donuts. Ah, fuck yeah. 
You have amazing taste in food. Jelly-filled donuts are great and are my favorite, actually. Nothing beats a jelly-filled donut. You're right! Jelly-filled donuts are simply the best. The, the, those aren't jelly-filled donuts. Please stop. Love me a good jelly-filled donut! Mmm, simply the best! The timeline is collapsing. Do not question any further, please! Nothing beats a jelly-filled donut! <laughs> I'm okay. Behold, the Smithsonite Discloisite, the Burgalka's Mine, Groot Fontein District, Ajotsanzupa Region, Namibia. Bean and cheese. I get so mad when I hear things scuttling inside the walls. Like, yeah, we get it. You're a creature. You don't need to rub it in my face that you're capable of scuttling. My favorite dynamic in both platonic and romantic ships are... We share the brain cell. Or, they are both very smart until you put them together and then they're dumbasses. My brain cells allergic to yours is peak dynamic. One time in third grade I zoned out, and I don't think I ever zoned back in. Help me. When you can sense a mood incoming and feel like a farmer standing in a field looking out at the horizon as the storm approaches like, Mmm, looks like it's gonna be a bad one, boys. Have you ever wondered how many fictional characters you've absorbed into your personality? <sighs> Who am I? Some girls are made with sugar, spice, and everything nice. Ugh. They're made with garlic, basil, and olive oil. Mmm, garlic bread. How about you date a girl who is a home and an adventure all at once? Or date a girl who doubles as a haunted house! Why is it that bullies can always tell you're LGBT or like neurotypical way before you can? The new diagnostic tool, a middle schooler. Sometimes I get so jealous of other people's skills like, damn, like they can talk to people and people like them? Like look at all those people who like them! What the fuck? Silico. No offense, but if you just straight up drink milk, then I will never listen to a word you say to me. Well, next time you fall from a tree, we'll see who's laughing. My bones are thick like Mr. Incredible. You wish you were me. Dungeons and Dragons is such a powerful game. It can make a six foot three inch man blush like a cherry when he pretends to kiss his wife's pretend character. Dude, he was 15 shades of red asking to pretend to kiss his wife's pretend character. This man has dated, married, and Bothered a child with this woman, and yet he's like, well, well, what if we kissed and held in hands? Introducing Dr. Brian Fisher, California Academy of Sciences. Dr. Fisher, get off that man's face. You're a scientist, now act like one. It's time. No, 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 it's not time. It's fucking March. I don't want to see this. It's time. <laughs> Posture checklist. Don't hunch or your spine will bunch. Stand up, arms up, lift up. Love your back to prevent ow her back. <sighs> Much better. Today I learned that B.F. Skinner, a famous psychologist, instilled superstitions in pigeons by giving them food in a cage at set time intervals. The pigeons responded by performing rituals, which they believed brought them the food, such as bobbing their heads or turning counterclockwise. Pigeon. Religion. I was the fastest liquid on earth. <laughs> Milk. It's pasteurized before you see it. <laughs> Me opening my own story. Huh. I wonder if the author's updated it yet. This is the ready equivalent of checking the fridge, walking away, and coming back to see if it spawned a better snack while you weren't looking. Y yeah. I'm not so hard because Artemis is the Greek goddess of, among other things, maidenhood and archery. She's literally 
An arrow ace. <laughs> arrow ace. You son of a bitch. I will never know peace again. Clams can move. Clams can move. I never would have thought those things could move. I thought they just vibed. Oh yeah, they can also swim. They can what? Fog and mist are my favorite kind of weather. It's just our atmosphere. I can imagine seeing a hillside generally coming in and out of the fog, making it look like a floating island in the distance. Perfect. Beautiful. Walk out of the fog and announce what millennia you're from. Start appearing mysteriously and just enjoy the cool moods that flow around. Man, this person's out here really making me like fog. If I'm being subjective, the greatest sci-fi show of all time is Doctor Who. If I'm being objective, it's Doctor Who. <laughs> doctor, I think I'm going deaf. The doctor said, well, describe the symptoms. Well, Homer's bald and Marge has blue hair. All right, Sans is a Homestuck character. The confidence this exudes scares me. Good. That's how you know it's the truth. Accept it. My best feature is that I'm blindingly intelligent for about 30 seconds a day. And I don't get to choose which seconds. They're not consecutive. The sun is on fire, I repeat, the sun is on fire! The ocean is flooding, I repeat, the ocean is flooding! This is an emergency, guys! The Earth is spinning, guys! It's fucking spinning! A mysterious gas has settled all throughout Earth and we're currently bringing it in! Brought to you by Fox News. Just overheard a little girl ask her father if I'm a boy or a girl and all he said was, Well, some people have bodies. Mmm, assigned corporeal at birth. We learn that Splatsville is located in a broader region called the Splatlands. It seems the intense sun and harsh environment have had a profound effect on its inhabitants. In the recent years, trend-setting inklings have been drawn to the culture like moths to a Bunsen burner. I like the implication that a bunch of teens have moved to a desert wasteland for, like, the clout. <clears throat> Coachella. Wait, I just realized my mom gave me my new stuff for my key ring the day after she complained that I kept accidentally sneaking up on her because I don't realize how quiet I am. My mother belled me like a cat I didn't even realize. Oh, <laughs> cat boy. Everyone is so mean to me all the time. Mmm, soup with tomatoes and soup with noodles. Those are a pair of my favorite foodles. The New York Triber, New York, August 3rd, 1921. Uh, the spirit of the internet existed long before it had an electronic vessel to inhabit. Oh, I get it. It's ICUP. What is? Nothing. Go back to bed. Sometimes YouTube comments are complete garbage. And then there are comments like this. Great workout music for my pet snails. Thanks. Aw, Dave McCracken, bless your heart. Truth or dare? Uh, I, I dare you to... Uh... Fall in love with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless I looked everywhere for this. <laughs> no way! How did they... What? But she... The whole barbecue sauce bottle? That's crazy. Humans are weird. Wait. How did you know this story? Why didn't you invite me? Oh, that makes sense. You are so wise beyond your years, great. Oh, you're so cute. I just saw the words cat boy, cat girl, and neon binary, and it took several years off my life expectancy. <laughs> it's probably one of my posts, too. Can men and women really just be friends? Straight people are so weird. It is a fact that bisexuals can make friends. There is only prey. So I got kicked out of a Taco Bell for bringing in a Bluetooth speaker in the bathroom. I didn't even start playing Sabaton the Last Battalion before I was dragged out. I will now wage war elsewhere. I'm sorry, what? Oh, police. <laughs> I accidentally stepped on my cat's foot and need to be arrested. Take me away, please. I wonder if Vader ever found out that the droid who carried the Death Star plans was R2. I could just imagine him thinking, Well, this explains everything. My men didn't stand a chance. You fools. You absolute incompetent fools. What was the droid? It was a blue R2 unit. No! Oh. <laughs> That's my boy. Subject. My cat. Symptoms. Small. Makes small noises. Small brain. Stupid. Diagnosis. Bibi. Course of action. A kiss on the head. 
Sparkling water is disappointing because you smell it and it's like, mmm, super fruity. And then you taste it and it's just angry water. So I found out people have strong feelings about sparkling water. I too share the sentiment of this post. Sparkling water needs to chill and stop trying to bite the inside of my mouth. It's rude and unpleasant and I don't like it. Do you ever get bored on the internet and then grab your phone to see what the other smaller internet is up to? I love dogs who are obsessed with licking people. <gasps> this human is pleasing to me. I have to put my tongue on it. Well, dogs treat us like we treat cool rocks. Your relationship to rocks is apparently very different than mine. I am a simple woman. I enter the kitchen, I eat four servings of bread products, and then I leave. It's one serving if you serve it all to yourself at once. I like the way you think, friend. No, he looks so tired. Let him nap. He looks like more butter toast. You know, it's really funny how many people on here make jokes about anti-vaxxers and flat earthers, but then they practice astrology at the same time, even though it's literally the same as pseudoscientific bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up your horoscope doesn't give kids polio. I still don't know how to spell spaghetti without autocorrect. Hey, Bucky, where's the H? An H? A lumberjack went into a magic forest to cut a tree. Upon arrival, he started to swing at the tree and it shouted, Wait, I'm a talking tree! And the lumberjack smiled and said, And you will die a log. <laughs> do werewolves have toe beans? Of course they have toe beans. What else do you suck on? If there is a god, mine is surely a trickster, giving me the miracle of sight and of comprehension. Only for me to be cursed to use it on what you just said. You know what? Mayhaps the villains deserve to destroy this society. After that last post, I agree. Guess who's got two thumbs and... This guy. Two, two, two thumbs and what? This guy. Call out posts at all writers. Right. No. By the way, I know everything, but don't ask me any questions because I don't like it. Ah, me with my characters. Mm hmm. I now understand why old people sit outside just to sit outside. Uh, I remember when you turned 24. Ah, oh, what a time to be alive during Tumblr's edgy phase. Wait, how old is Tumblr? About 14 years. Mmm, seems about right. You know when your video game spouse says I love you and calls you dear and you tear up a little because you realize you're starved for romantic affection? This wasn't supposed to be a relatable meme, y'all good? People are tagging all their video game lovers and crying. Yeah. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backward into the drywall because they cannot withstand my aura. So, you are what people in math problems are actually doing. Woman? Oh, no. You misheard. I'm an omen. I don't identify as male or female. I identify as a warning. Congratulations! It's a harbinger. Oh, majestic grape of the hand, what is your wisdom? Looking at you infuriates me. There's no punchline, I hate mittens. Behold, the acts of war crimes. We finally did it! And you promised me a wedding when we return home! I did. Let's go. Our next question is, what do rich people eat? Eat? L like a poor? Phoenix, nutrients now! <laughs> what did you say you do again? I'm a games journalist. Dude, gross. <sighs> hmm. Oh shit, whoops, I killed Krillin. You're not mad at me, are you? No, no, it's okay. Uh, are you sure you're not mad? <laughs> Welcome to the stupid hut. Well, what's inside? Something stupid. Uh, okay. Man. Hey, can you tell me something wholesome? Listen, you fuck, there's nothing left. Eat what you got to, take up what hobby you need to. The current mission objective is survive. We gonna make it? Yeah, maybe. We gonna be happy? No. This is a very big chungus 100% wholesome hugs. If you ever speak Reddit to me again, I'll kill you. Okay, here's your COVID shot. Oh, shit. Sorry, wrong shot. I got the fix right here. Mm. Mm -mm. 
Captain Rich, what will we do? Reddit is crashing the market! Hmm... Destroy the rich! Put all of your money into GameStop! <laughs> you never lose by playing both sides. <laughs> Sir, it's us, the Internet Police. We're taking you in. You posted a photo of a dog that looked just slightly sad. That doesn't even make any sense. The Internet Police isn't real. Oh, we're real. And we are pissed. I'm sorry, sir. Your card's been declined. Then I would like to apply for your store's credit card. Uh, okay. Infinite unending money! You know what? The Earth is flat. And I'm going to find the ice walls. Well, here it is. This endeavor has not changed anything in my life. Okay. You get one beach episode. A slight breeze! <laughs> Not for that shit. Let's play randomized Nesluck. No. No, 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 no. Yes. No. What do you mean occasionally checking my work in progresses to see if they started spontaneously generating words isn't the same as writing? The mitochondria is the girl boss of the cell. In seventh grade, I went to see a movie with a boy, and in the middle of it, he was like, Do you want to kiss? And I was like, Excuse me? And he pulled a bag of Hershey Kisses out of his coat. Do you realize what a good backup plan that is? Yes, yes, I too love Tumblr's favorite actors, Misha Collins, David Tennant, and... Benedict Cumberbatch? We've turned mispronouncing Bidet Canker Store's name into a popular enough joke that merely saying his name correctly is now legitimately a funny punchline. We've delved too deep into this joke! There's no escape! Tell my children I love them! The police pull my lifeless body from a lake, but I'm wearing the funniest hat that they've ever seen that they can't stop laughing and keep dropping me back into the water. Where, where, where did OP go? The lake. There's a blind man here tuning my piano, and he keeps making blind jokes. And I quote, You know when people ring me up to ask if I can fix their piano, I like to tell them I'm so good I can do it without looking. Sometimes people ask why I became a piano tuner, I tell them it's because they wouldn't let me become a pilot. Okay. But those are both really good. My professor told me that I'm failing ethics class, so I slid $20 across the table and said, What about now? Wink, wink. Guys, no, what the fuck? I just looked at the time about 20 minutes ago and it said 1.50 a.m. Now it says 1.12 a.m. Guys, what is happening? Guys, I'm not joking. Send help. I actually think there is something wrong with me. So I've been notified that this is daylight savings times. <sighs> Carry on. No, 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 no. Should I kill someone or have a cup of tea? Did you mean should I kill someone and have a cup of tea? Oh, yes, my mistake. Thank you. Love when someone's like, are you talking to yourself? And it's like, yeah, I'm in a meeting with myself, and this bitch has a lot to say. But sometimes that shit could just be an email. Yeah. My friend asked me to make an image. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Check this fucking shit. <laughs> Congress. I was at the movies watching Catching Fire, and just before Finnick appears for the first time, some guy yelled out, Where's Finnick? And then there was a collective shh from the rest of the cinema. But then a few seconds later, Finnick appears, and the guy goes, Oh, there he is! And I think everyone in the cinema just choked on their popcorn. You know, I am what the kids call attention-seeking. And now, a test. Behold, if you saw the alphabet, you're likely straight. If you saw a key smash... You're likely gay. Holy fuck! I'm feeling really attacked right now! Such raw power. Doesn't even need a straw, he's just sucking the water up through the air! And what the fuck did he think Mowgli could teach him? I have breaking news. Lo-fi hip-hop girl gave up. THE ENTIRE- <laughs> Wow, look, volcanoes! This is this neat! What do you think we should name this place? Guy making it really obvious he doesn't want to be here. <sighs> Boring lava field, Oregon. It's canon now. Supervillains announcing their plans is actually a union thing, so they can't be sued for damages someone else may commit at the same time. No, your honor. I clearly stated that I would be using my freeze ray to weaken and shatter the federal bank vault door as my weapon, as you call it. 
It was only designed to create cold. I cannot be held accountable for this woman's burn injuries clearly caused by another supervillain's lava gun. You are certain that it was another device that caused this woman's injuries? Yes, Your Honor. Witnessed it myself. Would you tell me the name of this other supervillain? Oh, no, ma'am. Union code. Snitches get stitches. Why aren't you exploring the ocean? It's literally right underneath us! You can send a robot a million miles into space looking for aliens, but not into the giant void that takes up the majority of the Earth we live on? Please, I'm scared. NASA knows. NASA has seen the dark beneath. NASA's urgency to leave the planet grows ever stronger. Have y'all ever had communion bread that was just so... nasty? Like, I know we have to suffer as Christians, but do we really need to have whole wheat bread as the body of Christ? My old church used Hawaiian bread. My standards are high. Some old housemates of mine were Syrian Orthodox. At their church, different members of the church took turns making the bread that would be consecrated for the Eucharist. This was all well and good until one woman baked raisin bread. This led to a memorable occasion of a rather flustered priest who had not seen the bread until that moment declaring, This, except for the raisins, is the body of Christ. <laughs> except for the raisins! <laughs> oh my god! Well, raisins are just dried grapes, though, and wine is his blood, so really, it's like a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner except for Jesus? I'm sorry, just like a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner except for Jesus? Honey, I hate to break this to you, but if blood as wine is inside the body as bread, then that's just a regular-ass human body. Behold, a man! Casual reminder that Nani was on her way to becoming a professional surfer before her parents died and she had to drop everything to look after Lilo. How did I not know this?! In Germany, we don't say, I don't care. We say, das ist mir Wurst, which roughly translate as, this is sausage to me. And I think that's beautiful. No, you don't understand. We actually do do that. I crashed my car into a bridge. This is sausage to me! The lack of context here is thrilling. It's introductory Python programming course. Yes! But the plot twist, they're cobras. To the prankster who put the moon as the address on their online pizza delivery order, thanks a whole dang lot. I was up there for like 10 minutes just aimlessly waiting, ringing the doorbell, and kicking moon rocks around. Ugh. Waste my time 2021. Fun fact, this is Orlando's legit impression of Johnny. It wasn't originally scripted. Was there like, was there even a script for this film? Every time I see a post about Pirates of the Caribbean, they're like, this wasn't scripted. By now, I'm just like 70% sure they just released Orlando, Kira, and Johnny into the Caribbean and told them to pretend it was the 1700s. I mean, yeah. Um, I, I, I think they're dry. Oh, this place is haunted, haunted. Oh, shit, now I'm serious! Imagine banana with any other vowel. Bonunu, banane, bonono, binini. Banana! What was the original purpose for this website? Because something went wrong along the way. Don't you just love how mental disorders are basically buy one, get seven free? I don't even really want the first one. My mom made me buy it. Mine's a family heirloom passed down through generations. I fucking hate it! The absolute worst thing a fictional character can do is admit to liking a food, because the fandom will make that their ENTIRE PERSONALITY FOR THE REST OF TIME! HOW THE FUCK DID WE EVEN GET TO A POINT WHERE PURPLE GUY FROM FNAF LIKES TOAST? HOW DO WE DO THAT?! Boy, if you don't give me my agenda back right this minute, why, I oughta... Oh, that goddamn Tompkins kids is running off with agendas again. That little scamp. Okay, we're settling this discourse right now. Put your zodiac sign in the tags, and if you like or dislike pineapple on pizza, Mint ice cream or mint chocolate, ketchup and mac and cheese, or fries dipped in ice cream. Okay, I'm a Pisces. Definitely love pineapple pizza. Mint ice cream's pretty baller. Fries dipped in ice cream? That shit, what's up? But who the fuck puts ketchup in mac and cheese? Where's the serotonin? <laughs> Silly. I am the serotonin. Come here, you. Oh. 
Jeez. Oh, hey, I'm back. Well, I, for one, like Roman numerals. Oh, we're off to a good start. Wax museum, but one of the dudes is real and they don't tell you who. You're not the girl boss of me. I want a divorce. You're a terrible male wife. Fine. I'm keeping the gate, though. Wait, what gate? Architects think they're so creative. Have you ever tried thinking outside the box? No, like literally. Your building is just like any other in a square foundation, and next to that is another square of the building. New York is just a bunch of squares with streets in between. Hey, hey, hey. You can't call us out like that because it's the truth. Do you ever stop to realize that the average person doesn't know what a ship is or what cannon means? We probably all just sound like pirates. And uh, I'm begging you not to invent Muppet racism, please! Please! Me and the boys up at 3 a.m. inventing Muppet racism. Didn't technically Avenue Q kind of dabble into that? Someone in my younger sibling's class said they were yandere for them, and my sibling responded, first of all, cringe, second of all, red flag. And no phrase has entered my daily lexicon so fast! Bigfoot, but fully shaved. Mr. Clean. Posts like these are why I have anxiety! If you've heard of writer's block, get ready for reader's block. You want to read, you have time, you know what to read, or how have a pile of books ready to be read, you cannot sit still and focus enough to do so, and you can't even open the book. Thanks, I hate it. I wonder if my ancestors are smiling upon me sometimes. You, making a little thing with clay. The ghost of Atrolopithecus. Yes, 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 yes! Wait, gays can read? Guys, what does that say? I don't know. One of my favorite character archetypes is small, cute character that is horrifyingly powerful in their canon. I mean, look at this. These children have fought literal gods and won. Well, one is a being made of two different gods and also living primordial ooze, able to kill the biggest god in the setting. One with a soul that is equivalent to every single monster soul combined with the power of mental time travel through sheer force of will. And one that is apparently born of dark matter, able to disintegrate anything and integrate anything into himself. And they're all non-binary. Conclusion! Non-binary people are strong enough to kill God. Love it. Howdy. May I offer you a cup of warm boy? Yes, you can. Thank you. My friend asked me why I keep a shotgun in the kitchen. I told him it was for Decepticons. He laughed, I laughed, the toaster laughed. I shot the toaster. Good times, good times, man. If I were a witch, I'd simply turn people into things for fun. I'd be a total bitch, a fucking asshole. So no change then. Damn straight. The fact that 2021 begun with a sea shanty renaissance and three months later ships are back on the 1700 trade routes is actually... <laughs> Extremely funny. <laughs> Fuck, why did I ever think about this? Fuck Spotify sometimes. Where's the love for the YouTube music? I get fucking all the vaporwave people I live. Not even on Spotify. Fucking use YouTube music. Do it. Do it right now. What are you doing? Dude, how do some of you all function under stress? I'm sitting here eating cold Pop-Tarts while playing the Wii theme on a kazoo because I have a ton of things to do soon and I'm stressed, but not stressed enough to do anything about it. My mind is really going like, yo, you have 17 things to do within the week and I'm just like, you want me to fucking tell them? <laughs> hey, Neil Gaiman, you're not real. Nothing is real, except possibly toast. Toast is real. Everything else in the universe is a figment of our collective imaginations except toast. And possibly pangolins. Nothing could successfully imagine a pangolin. So basically, unless it's pangolins or toast, you're probably imagining it. Neil Gaiman, everybody. This isn't some project you can do at one night. Well, not if I shift it into maximum overdrive. It still doesn't get done. I swear we are living in a simulation. Huh? Why? Why? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I hope to all that is holy that this is real. Please, God, give me this much. What are you guys seeing? Because I see the imposter. The ever given is sus. Did you see loss? Emergency hot dog that reheats when you crack it like a glow stick. Hey, now this. Now this is a shower thought. 
World building is just what writers do when they want to justify a petty aesthetic choice. World building is also what writers do when they want to justify not actually writing. Reading this comment was like looking down to see that I've been stabbed through the back in the middle of gloating. Well done. Today I learned the words cream and Christ are cognates. They derive from the same root meaning anoint, rubbing things together with oil both practically and religiously. Creme de la Christ. Back at it again at Christ a cream. If you go on Yahoo Answers, there's a question to ask what Jesus smells like. Someone answered cookies and cream, and I have never forgotten that. Anyway, that person was channeling Jesus himself. That tree isn't high enough, stupid! He's so sleepy, he doesn't even care. It's me as a bat. I'm in love with this bat. Fuck it. Good enough. Ten accessories every woman should have. One, flaming sword. Just drank a milkshake. Feeling good. All right. Brush your teeth. You know, Colgate, I was. But now I'm not gonna add a spike. How in the nine hells did you get Colgate's official tumbler to tell you to brush your teeth? It's quite simple, friend. I made a milkshake. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Would Zuko give the Blue Spirit a full pardon after the war's over, or do you think he would mess with everyone and raise the bounty even higher? Fire Lord Zuko sends Ozai to capture the Blue Spirit to regain his honor. Are you ticklish is such a loaded question. If you say no, they'll test it. If you say yes, they'll test it. Just tickle me. Get it over with. Subject me to this horror soon so that I may begin my healing process. My ninth grade English teacher told us the proper response to are you ticklish is I have diarrhea. Every day God puts me in a new universe to see if I notice. I do notice, by the way. I just never say anything because I'm shy. This line in Hamlet, oh god, I could be bounded in a nutshell and count myself as king of infinite space, were it not that I have bad dreams, is the Shakespeare equivalent of this post. God gave me depression because if my ambitions went unchecked, I would have bested him in hand-to-hand -hand combat by age 16. Writing papers is so humiliating. Why are these grown people with PhDs in this field making me, a baby-year-old child, write a stupid and trite paper that will never interest or benefit them anyway? What is the point? Just give me a cute little A and let's all move on, please. One and odd said I come off as a piece of shit, and he didn't say why, but I think it's because I don't like Star Wars as much as him. I believe it. Slow burn, but it's written by an impatient person. Also, this doesn't affect the speed of the developing relationship at all, but does make for a very passive-aggressive narrator. Is it just me, or does the frame rate get higher when you step inside of Costco? Yeah, it's because everything comes in bulk there. And Costco has really good object instancing, so it only has to obstruct the VBO for each kind of product once and then reshade it for individual instances, which gets you a big frame rate improvement over a parking lot where one million unique cars are in view at any given time. I don't understand this. And I do at the same time. Coming soon, Costco in 4K. Hey, I know things have been hard, but I want you to know it's gonna be okay. And I am so proud of you. The most important thing to know about the plot of Hamlet is that it's so convoluted that the main character is kidnapped by pirates, and it's not even really a major plot point. This is it. This is my favorite post. A chunky boy. Reduced. I love crested geckos because they have the expression of an animal who has exactly one brain cell that digs around their skull like a window screensaver. Look at him. Majestic baby. Girl, help! I'm Mandor Handhook Cardor! Why does Squidward's face show more emotion than Elsa's? <sniffs> His paycheck. An activate charcoal and grapefruit smoothie called What Will Your Meds Do, Winky Face? Actually, it is a juice. Wait, no, this was a joke. You're on antidepressants and you drink this to meet the devil! I'm what they consider smart passing. Oh, my gender? 1940s detective who is also a dramatic little bitch. My gender. 1940s thief who is also a dramatic little bitch but has a hat. What what type of hat though? A sexy one. Heart-shaped bestie necklaces that say I hope you die and I hope we both die. McDonald's Sprite and perceiving myself evoke the same emotion. Also hotel air conditioners. Also walking out of a movie theater and into the sunlight. Why? 
Are these all true? All you girls out there had that stage where you played online dress-up games. Don't even lie. What do you mean, had? And what do you mean, girls? Hey, here's a delicious peanut butter and jelly. Getting real sick of your lies, Sonic. Being an adult is a weird combination of wanting you to sleep all the time, but also reacting to it being your bedtime, a little like a toddler who doesn't want to take a nap. Yeah. Fuck it. Vampire with a gun. Count Glockula. Gonna shoot ya. Why do women's clothing designers believe that girls do not need pockets? It's so they can sell us bags. Mother. Fuck. I'll put my music on shuffle and be pissed if I don't get the right song. Plot twist, I have no idea what the right song is, but we'll know it when I hear it. Don't eat the rich, that's tainted meat. Decompose the rich. Mmm. Because this tumbler totally needed a coyote in a purse. Um, excuse me, sir, that is my emotional support trickster god. Thank you. Why do movies show nerdy girls as carrying a billion books and then portray them as physically weak? If a girl can carry the Harry Potter series, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and all of her textbooks, then she could probably lift a protagonist football star and throw him across the football field. It's true. Writing prompt. Cthulhu, as an eldritch being, sees humans as human see insects, which is to say, harmless but inexplicably terrifying. Cthulhu chasing humanity around with a shoe while crying. Minecraft? Seth Everman? Are, are you two politely acknowledging each other in a hallway? Men want her. Women want to be her. Children befriend her, but their parents fear her. Doctors hate her, and police officers had explode in her presence. Scientific consensus on her nature and origins has not been reached. Authorities warn civilians to stay away from her and report any sightings immediately. Jolene. How to do everything last minute, a novel by me that I'm going to write later. Wait, didn't I already do this one? Ah, I'll think about it later. Another anecdote from Greek class. Apparently there's an episode in the Bible where Jesus asks Peter, do you love me, using a form of the verb... I'm not even gonna try. I already hate it when I mispronounce words, I'm not even gonna try. Using a form of the verb that means love, but like in the cosmic religious sense of the word. And Peter says yes, but he uses the word that also means love, but much more general casual way. So basically, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Ask Peter if he loves him, and Peter says, yeah, as a friend. <laughs> I can't believe the Messiah got friend-zoned. Girl stares outside of the window on train, looking pensive. Boy, she's so beautiful, so thoughtful. My manic pixie dream girl. Girl to herself. How many donuts can I stuff in my mouth at one time? The worst kind of griffin would be a fox seagull. Screams all day and all night and is definitely in your garbage. Can you imagine life in a world with this flavor of griffins instead of some majestic lion eagle soaring through the skies deep in the untouched wilds? You'd be stuck trying to drive a raccoon crow, a creature that would fight God for half a bagel, from your garbage bin with only a broom and an oven mitt to defend yourself. That sounds a lot more realistic. Today I learned America's big four rival pizza chains, Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, and Little Caesars, all buy their cheese from the same man, James Leprino. He sells one billion pounds of cheese each year. Oh my god, it's him. The big cheese! Wait, if you have social anxiety, and I have social anxiety, then who's going to order the food? Third friend who has the mom Fred anxiety override. Oh, right. Yeah, silly me. I haven't seen anyone mention the greatest cultural impact Yahoo Answers has made yet. Are you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go ape shit? Do you think if student loans did a long apology video with no ads on, they would be forgiven already? Staff deactivated? What? What? Oh my god, Frankenstein fleed from his own monster! So one might ask, how do I, as a Muppet, record for these videos when I am so small? The answer is very, very carefully. Please find me a home. Are you a boy or a girl? Not to my knowledge. Can't believe that pioneer women used to churn butter for hours without even listening to a podcast about Bigfoot. Historically, when performing long, repetitive tasks like churning butter or weaving cloth, people would sit together and tell stories. Folk stories, fairy tales, and even stories about mysterious ape-like creatures living in the forest. So, yes. Pioneer women did listen to podcasts about Bigfoot while turning butter. Wow.
every time I see Nautic Suggestion, my brain is like, ah, this is a mandatory order then. Not a suggestion, enforceable by several dandies in incalculably large wigs. Mm -hmm. I love to make up phrases and slap, if you know what I mean, on the end. It implies there's meaning to it, and it leaves the recipient wondering. Well, I too like to shake up the old bag of hammers, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean, my dude. Therapists are just common sense filters. Me. Yeah, so I don't have the energy to, like, get up and make myself a sandwich or wait for something to cook, so I just don't. Her. Why don't you just eat the sandwich components without putting them together? What? You can just eat a handful of cheese and some sandwich meat. You don't have to make a sandwich. What? People who would fight the entire world for each other but complain and call each other stupid fucking idiots about it the entire time is the ultimate relationship dynamic. Can't judge me otherwise. I just saw something on TikTok saying, if you understand this, you probably have ADHD. Five is the most even odd number, and six is the oddest even number. Why can I understand this? I- Wait! The year is 2040. You are the last smoker alive. The quit smoking ads get personal. You walk into Times Square, a giant billboard lights up reading, The hot barista you Facebook stock doesn't like smokers. You walk back into the subway and go home. Does anyone ever do the opposite of dissociate? Like, when you're just suddenly and uncomfortably aware of your situation and reality? More to the point, why do I get that feeling when I'm sitting on top of my kitchen table watching a Velveeta mac and cheese pack spin in the microwave for three and a half minutes and I'm just like, I exist, I am here, and there's nothing I can do about it! When you roll a nat 20 on perception, but there's nothing to perceive. Okay, this one wins! Everyone can stop for vloggings now! Go home! Who the fuck thinks I want to see three completely identical, smooth blue men get absolutely soaked in paint that they tap off their little drums? Nobody. Hmm. Sounds like you're jealous they didn't let you in the group. Hey gang, I'm ordering $14 worth of soda and nothing else from my local Domino's. I am very thirsty. Your order is in the oven. You better fucking not have! What are you doing in this abandoned water treatment plant? Trying to figure out who abandoned all this water. Do you want to drink some with me? Already pulling out my comically long silly straw? I thought you'd never ask. Not trying to be rude, but I love posts on here where I learn a completely new thing that immediately gets refuted in the same post. Ah, net zero information. Oh, I love it when I do that shit on videos and have a comment that's like, Um, well, actually! If the US military gets their hands on Dracula, we are so fucked! This post was a lot funnier to me when I was high. Actually, you just basically described the plot of Blade Trinity, sans the U.S. military. Well, I must bid you all farewell. Mwah! You take one point of poison damage. You take one point of poison damage. You take one point of poison damage. You take one po Many scientists proclaim that during an eclipse, this is what it looks like. However, I believe upon further inspection, and with a trained eye, Perhaps we can see the true form. Zooming and enhancing image. Truly outstanding. Well, it was high time to bring this back. You ready to rock, CC? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, question one. Sienna, do you ever use your hair as a chair? Oh, all the time. It's really handy since most chairs on Earth can't accommodate my hair. On the subject of that, most worry about my neck with my hair. I'm here to tell you it's A-OK. -okay. Trust me, I've lived long enough in the universe to handle it just fine. <laughs> Number two, let's see, uh... Sienna gives off pansexual energy for no reason. Is it OK if I HC her as pan? <gasps> Is she canonically pan? <laughs> You don't have to headcanon that, you Earthlings would say, because it's absolutely true. Doesn't matter what you identify as, just be good to me and I'll be holding your hand in no time. See? Focus! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Question three! What's your favorite mythical creature? <gasps> Dragons! Earthlings made so many beautiful designs of them! From small, big, fluffy, sharp, long, two wings, many wings, some that can morph like me, some become elements of nature, the creativity is incredible! It helps when they have a source material to use on that. Question four! 
Does your hair get tangled? <laughs> All the time. Mainly because it's already tied up, so if it gets snagged on one thing, it's a mess right away. Luckily, I can snap my fingers and fix it right away. I can't imagine the trouble it would be if I couldn't. Poor humans. Yep, big grip. All right, question five. Have any small creatures tried to hide in your hair? Goodness, humans are fascinated by hair, aren't they? <laughs> well, Grape likes to sneak in there when we visit Earth. I had to establish certain rules with him, because he would try to sneak in food. <sighs> I came home once noticing I had fries lodged in my hair bun. Not even magic can clean out the smell of fries. That would never sound like a problem on Earth, really. Question six! What's your favorite pupper breed? And also remember to take care of your mental health. You too, PM. Ah, thanks. Uh, they say she smells nice. I adore... Samoyeds! They're so big and fluffy, they're like big poofing clouds and just... Ah! That little boop they do is the most precious thing in the universe! <laughs> if I could sneak them into my place back home, I would. But alas, at least I have a big plushie of one. I'll settle for that, I guess. You're welcome, by the way. <clears throat> Question seven. Whenever Sienna understands something, does she go, oh, I see? No, but now I may start doing that. God damn it. Question eight. Your favorite type or flavor of cake? There's chocolate cake and carrot cake and spiced vanilla cake and strawberry and cream short cake and raspberry and mocha cake and red velvet cake and New York cheesecake and, and, and... I think a shorter list is what cake Sienna doesn't like, which doesn't exist yet. Next question. Exactly how strong are you? Because I've seen that you're serious about working out. So the perks of being... Well, celestial, I guess, is most of what I need is just pure energy to do things, not muscular strength like Earthlings. Which is probably for the best, because after all, I gotta hold these two bad boys up. Sienna! What? I was talking about your channel and your spirits! Uh, uh, oh. Actually, that does remind me, you can shapeshift, so why did you pick that shape? Oh, well, that's easy. It's because it's cute. Valid? Anyway, next to last question. Can you give us some inspiring words of confidence and maybe a hug? I know life is hard right now, and it's easy to say when I'm out. <laughs> I'm trying to be supportive, but my tongue won't work. No, it's okay. Work. It's okay. Just, just start over. Start over. <clears throat> I know life is hard right now, and it's easy to say when I'm outside looking in, but I know all of you are trying your best to overcome your problems, and I just want you to know. I am really proud of you. You got this. And final question. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> to Sienna, do you actually know how to beatbox, or was that just a one-time joke for the Friday Night Funkin' music video? Uh, oh, um, well, I had some help on that. But I could try it for real with you guys. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. It's the beatbox. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? That's what I was told. No, 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 how no, 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 no. Yeah, you say no, boots no, and no. cats. You, you do the noise. You don't actually say the words. You know, like boots, cats, boots, cats. Oh! Let me try. Let me try. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm no good at this. I guess I could practice more. I had so much fun doing this, you guys. Thank you so much for all your questions. Be sure to ask lots more, okay? I can't wait for the next video. If you guys want to ask her more questions, you just got to hit up Tumblr. And to make sure that we actually see it for the video, start it off with two Sienna. See you later! Oh god, jeez, okay, um, hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Snom, I like to think that for you to input text on your phone, you just flop on it like a fish. Think. That's exactly what I do. Ah, uh, here you go, buddy. All right. Put the sad in the bag. Put it in! Snom. How do you remain happy? I don't know. Opinion on LGBTQ people? They're all amazing and wonderful. I'm glad they are being true to who they want to be and liking who they want to like. <laughs> Thank you, Snom. Are you Snom? I am. Will you be? For eternity. Snom, I love you! Ha <laughs> ha! Parried! Hey, Snom, do you have any of those good vibes and cozy positive energies I need them? And some inspiration would be nice. Imagine being in a nice cabin with the fireplace slowly crackling. Gentle music flowing through the air. Being surrounded by a soft, warm blanket and the people you love. How dare you make the perfect image, Snom. Do you pay your taxes? Answer carefully. I'm not old enough yet. What's your opinion on the Charizard that belongs to Leon, the unbeatable champion? The hand symbol for its head looks like it's making a wah sound. I'm not wrong. Opinions on Legos? Behold, Fort. Has uh, any Pokemon fan art ever Scaria? I'd prefer not to answer. Snom, it is time for the ultimate test. What is two plus two? Uh, uh, ah, uh, I'm just kidding, it's four. Aw, uh, Snom's already smarter than Gura. If you could tell everyone in the entire world one thing right now, what would you say? <gasps> You're all beautiful people and I believe in each and every one of you! <laughs> you know, Jimmy, while I can't say that you've never been responsible for helping out the town, you also created or influenced the vast majority of major threats in the first place. The Yokians only came to Retroville because of your signal. The same goes for Meldar Prime, the Nanobots, Shirley, and Evil Jimmy were all your creations. You caused the Ice Age. You created the Sentient Pants. You made the Sick Patch. You turned your teacher into a 50-foot monstrosity, and you injured Santa Claus, almost ruining Christmas. The vast majority of this town's problems are caused, at least indirectly, by you. And you know what? In all honesty, that would be fine. You are very intelligent, and you always do fix it. And in the end, it's extremely unlikely that you won't end up benefiting the world a lot more than you will damage it. My children and my children's children are probably going to live in a world free of war and disease, and I'll have to thank you for that. But fuck, dude. You can't keep using your intelligence as a way to escape your humanity. I didn't ask you to say salt because I thought a customer would seriously care or because I was insecure. I did it because it made you look weird, and I was trying to get you to adopt behaviors and use language that makes you come across like a normal fucking person. Everyone knows what sodium chloride is, but calling it that outside the context of a chemistry class makes you seem like someone who defines themselves solely by their intelligence, which is undeniably who you are. I know you think there's nothing wrong with being that person, dude, but there is. Taking your IQ and deciding that it elevates you above the rest of the planet is an awful decision that will lead to a life filled with misery and alienation. It will color every interaction you ever have and make it impossible to have real friends or relationships. I'm not saying that you won't have any, but they won't hold any meaning to you, and they certainly won't bring you any happiness. Sure, you'll probably manage a pity fuck or two your sophomore year of college after giving some drunk sorority girl a jetpack ride, but it will bring you nothing but emptiness. Maybe you'll eventually abandon women altogether and decide that your true love is science, secretly seething inside whenever you see a guy like Nick or Bulby getting married to someone he really cares about. Who cares about him? You'll say I'm exaggerating, but dude, look at how you treat the people in your life now. Carl and Sheen, quirks aside, really do see you as your friend. And they go through some serious shit if it meant helping you out of a scrape. Can you say that you see them the same way? As anything other than the only two kids your age willing to put up with your ridiculous ego? What have you ever done for them? Inventing doesn't count, dude. Even when you build something for someone else, you're really doing that for you. 
every llama bot or ultra lord simulator is only created with the expectation of further praise they're not friends to you they're worshipers and your parents lord the way you treat them you think i've got folks that care about me the way your mom and dad do working in a shithole like this i wish Every day your dad watches you scarf down the dinner your mom slaved to make for you and prays that you might think about spending some fucking time with him instead of disappearing in your lab to do God knows what. They watch you toy with dimensional warping science that they can't wrap their minds around on a daily basis and you laugh at them for worrying about you. Have you ever played catch with your dad, Jimmy? Ever asked him how his day at work was? You don't have a clue what I'd do for a dad like yours in my life, dude. And what about your mom? Why not invent something that'll make her life easier instead of gallivanting around the Bermuda Triangle to play with fucking seaweed? We both know the reason. She would thank you for it. She'd be happy to imagine a version of you that thought for an instant about the needs of another person. But she wouldn't call you the greatest thing in the universe for it like your friends do. And in Neutron's world, whoever doesn't do that might as well not exist. Ignore me if you want. Keep going the way you're going. And I'll see you in 30 years lugging around 16 Nobel Prizes in your pocket as if they could substitute for a lifetime's worth of human love and interaction. You always mocked Calamitis for his inability to finish what he started. But the man had a wife and a daughter that tolerated him enough to want to stay in his life through everything. And at the rate you're going, I'd be amazed if you can manage the same with Goddard. The rest of Retroville, Jimmy, they'll never be able to do what you do. They'll never be able to invent rockets or solve cold fusion or add three numbers together but they will find genuine friendship and love, and they will call it salt. And despite everything you accomplish, you'll only be remembered as nothing more than the man who wouldn't, who couldn't perhaps. Get out, dude. You're fired. Big McThankies from McSpankies. <laughs> POV. You're scrolling through Tumblr instead of facing your problems like a normal human being. You watch your mouth. Would you guys like to see the most unique, rare, and blessed photo I've ever taken? It's his day now. Beautiful. If the CIA believed we could go to alternate realities, we would have invaded one of them by now. You joke, but that's honestly entirely true. A CIA-backed coop of fairyland. We are being gonna shift to the oil dimension. I mean, to be fair. I'm fairly certain they've tried. I'm what you would consider uh, I could look it up, but it's more fun asking friends, gang. Uh, yeah. Has it been canonically determined if the Kool-Aid man is the pitcher or the juice yet? According to Wikipedia, canonically, he is the pitcher. He is traditionally filled with tropical punch Kool-Aid, but originally was filled with cherry Kool-Aid. However, he does appear to have some kind of magical effect on liquids, as the Kool-Aid stored inside him is more refreshing and hydrating than normal Kool-Aid, and his tears can apparently cause the dead to reincarnate. Man, Kool-Aid lore is deep. Oh, wait. That's sort of mine. What if the reason the creators of Monsters, Inc. waited 12 years to make Monsters University was because kids who watched Monsters, Inc. of the ages 5, 6, and 7 years are now 17, 18, and 19, and off to college, the same goes to Toy Story 3 and how Andy was giving up his toys, his childhood, and moving on off to college as well? What if they wanted to say goodbye to the child that loved their movies properly? I, I think they're onto something here. I'm in a really bad media diversity class, where the professor was trying to make a point to us about stereotypes, so he was like, When you think of Frankenstein, you probably think of a big green monster, right? And then when everyone in class was immediately like, No, it's the scientist, he pretended he didn't hear us. Well, millennial culture is knowing that Frankenstein is the scientist. So, have you fallen in love with me yet, or do I need to post more nonsense? <laughs> God nerfed me by making me allergic to garlic and sunlight. 
so a vampire? I can confirm that I am not a vampire, as I have blood. Is it your blood? It is blood, yes. Is it blood that's always belonged to you from the moment of your spawning? It is blood. It is in my possession. Therefore, it is my blood. I do not like this interrogation. Please stop. Oh my god, how do you come up with this stuff? Well, I've been plagued by visions since birth. OP, that's called having eyes. My name isn't OP, it's Monty. And I bet God hasn't even spoken to you once. If you're over 5 foot 11, sorry, your pronouns are fee, fi, fo, and fum. Listen here, you little shit! If you're under 5 foot 11, sorry, your pronouns are oompa, loompa, doopity, and do. Nah, you look a little too young to drive there, kiddo. Shh, you work the gas, human, I'll do the steering. I thought about my fake little people for a bit too long. Now I have illnesses of the brain. <sighs> Same. Oh, well, conveniently wrapped packages of bananas. If only bananas had robust, natural, biodegradable packaging of their own. Some sort of peelable skin, perhaps. Ah, it's just a pipe dream, though. Tumblers and social media. It's a habit. Like smoking. We're all gathering by the dumpster in the cold, reblogging posts. I want to run away. But like in Ghibli movies. Like I take a block of cheese, a loaf of bread, and some apples and wander through the flowered speckle mountains wrapped up in a shawl. And I happen to wander into a moving castle and fall in love with a cute wizard. Me deep in the woods dragging a duffel bag of craft singles and hopelessly lost. Where's Totoro? Fish want me. Women fear me. Men fear me. Everyone fears me for I am a menace to society. <laughs> Be on the lookout for the Big Bird Bandits. Two men arrested and charged after alleged Sesame Street. All right, which one of you fucking kidnapped Big Bird? I know it was fucking one of you. People of Tumblr, it's World Sleep Day. Log off. Go back to bed. No, I am unable to proceed with the action of Ken. There are too many ghouls. Help me. I know this isn't a hot take or anything, but the amount of stress and anxiety that courses through me while going through a drive through is absolutely a match. Behold, Eurasian Eagle Owl Chicks. The laundry is alive, and it is angry. Diagnosed with just been in a kind of weird zone lately disorder, and it's terminal. It's not radiation poisoning, but the night is young. Hey, instead of saying queen or king, can we start saying yes, chef? Like in Hell's Kitchen? You know, when you think about it, How to Train Your Dragon is really just a horse girl movie. <laughs> I'd like to report an incident. What happened this time? Well, what would you like to know? Unfortunately for everybody, I will keep doing whatever I want. All urban fantasy fiction set in present day automatically sucks by refusing to acknowledge that dwarves would go apeshit for Minecraft. I don't know what an NFT is, and I'm too afraid to ask. Okay, imagine if you went up to the Mona Lisa and you were like, I'd like to own this. And somebody nearby went, give me $65 million and I'll burn down an unspecified amount of the Amazon forest in order to give you this receipt for purchase. So you paid them and they went, here's your receipt, thank you for your purchase, and went to an unmarked supply closet in the back of the museum and posted a handmade label inside it behind the brooms that said, Mona Lisa currently owned by Jacob Galapagos. So if anyone wanted to know who owns it, they'd have to find this specific closet in this specific hallway and look behind the correct brooms and you went, can I take the Mona Lisa home now? And they went, oh god no, what are you stupid? You only bought the receipt that says you own it. You didn't actually buy the Mona Lisa itself. You can't take the real Mona Lisa, you idiot. You can take this though and give you a replica print and a cardboard tube that's sold in the gift shop. Also, the person selling you the receipt of purchase has at no point in time ever owned the Mona Lisa. Unfortunately, if this doesn't really make sense or seem like any logical person would be happy about this exchange, then you've understood it perfectly. An octopus is just a wet spider. What have you done? I woke up today and chose the H in ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Nine out of ten dentists recommend me. Number ten fears me. Ugh, my child is fine. Ma'am, your child kins Kara from Undertale. Oh, you're gay? So which is the builder and which is the redstoner? Today I learned in ancient Thebes there was a fairly successful band of warriors consisting entirely of 150 gay couples. 
They were chosen based on the idea that you fight better when trying to impress your lover. Me about to lob a spear straight into a guy's heart. Babe, watch this! Oh, what a beautiful night. <gasps> a full moon. Oh no! What does this even- Oh, fuck you! Did It's Hot in Topeka really just stick with anyone else who watched 2000's Cartoon Network, or was that just me? Literally everyone ever. Oh god, it's hot. My brain for the past 15 years. In Topeka. The term straight kind of implies every other sexuality is bent, and that's rude. No, but the other sexualities could be like twirled and shaped like stars, you know? Hey, what are you? Lopsided triangle, what about you? Dude, squiggly line! The opposite of imposter syndrome, or I do deceive my way into an industry and I enjoy it. Infiltrator syndrome. <laughs> you laugh, but those people are real. I don't want to live in a society. I want to sit in a test chamber and respond to stimuli. And get juice reward. And get juice reward. Lin-Manuel Miranda said in an interview that he wrote the song You're Welcome for Maui once he knew the character would be voiced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson because he thought that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be the one person on Earth who could sing something so egotistical and have us completely convinced we should be thanking him and honestly, he's not wrong. This just further proves my theory that he added in the Maui can do everything but float line, knowing that people will be making the pun about the reason floating is the only thing Maui can't do is because he's the rock! Hey, uh, sorry if this is stupid, but the Earth has, like, mountains and valleys and stuff, you know? So I don't see how it can be flat. If there's mountains and stuff, I'm, I'm sorry if it's stupid, I'm sorry. The New York Times, our animated dad's getting hotter. An investigation. All right, hold it. Anime dads have always been hot. These clowns were too slow to realize it. Why bully others when you can bully yourself? <laughs> Why is a dead wife so common as a backstory for male heroes when divorce exists and it's 10,000 times funnier? Ever since I lost my wife, I swore I would push myself to become the greatest hero this city has ever seen. Still not taking you back, Jared? Well, fuck you too, Stacy! With all the love you've gotten, how are you not involving? I have an Everstout in my throat. The neurodivergent experience is talking about your brain as if it's a separate entity from yourself. Yeah, and it's a bastard. Dracula is trans. W what's your proof? Well, he doesn't live in Sicilvania. <sighs> yeah, I can't argue with that logic. Can we please? Talk about the Google scorpion emoji. Look at it. Dangerous babies. Mwah. Mwah, I accept it. DC Superhero Girls has given me many things. But by far, my favorite thing is that they had the best incarnation of Bruce Wayne. And I say that not as like, oh, this is 10,000% who Batman is. No. I mean that they have the best version of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. Better than even the movies have gotten for one sole reason. I want you to take a look at this bougie himbo. One fucking look. And tell me who in their right mind would believe that this man is the goddamn Batman. He's too pretty, too well put together, too big a himbo, too covered in fucking camera crews and groupies to ever pull it off. No one would even ever fucking consider this gem of a man could do it, but he does, and it works so fucking well. And oh my god, it's my new favorite thing. Alright, Opie, your post was missing one crucial detail. This. Perfection. Hey Mario, stop jumping to conclusions. Me. Yeah! Woohoo! Yahoo! Earth's boring, it's time to mix things up a little. After the year we just had? Politics bore me, but Yellowstone Super Volcano intrigues me. Let's do something with that. There are real teens out there who think discovering Nirvana is a special achievement. Isn't that kind of the whole point of Buddhism? <laughs> this post is slowly killing me. When you're the oldest in the squad and shower them with advice and affection. Hello, children! I am the fairy squad mother! Oh no, please help me, I'm melting in acid, Ubu! Why should I extend my mercy to you? Look at my new 
new sweater. It's the cute, right? The salesperson said it was called Jazzberry Jam. H hey! Why are you smiling like that? What's so funny? Oh no! Oh no, it's a Pidgey! Oh my god, guys, I'm so screwed. I have nothing that could beat this. I have no choice but to use the greatest invention of all time, the Master Ball! Go! <laughs> speed test on Tumblr be like, High speed clown load, 100 silly bites per speed! Stewing in rage, stewing in agony. <sighs> Why don't you try stewing in some warm chicken lime broth with spices and vegetables? <gasps> oh, that sounds good. Before blaming others, think. What's the one constant in all your failed relationships? It's that cursed amulet. Why do you even have that? Get that, get that out of there. How to kiss a boy. Grab his waist, slip your hand in his pocket, steal his wallet. Don't even kiss him. Just run. Today I learned about the stoned ape theory. The idea that ingestion of psychedelic mushrooms was the evolutionary catalyst from which language, projective imagination, the arts, religion, philosophy, science, and all of human culture sprang. Oh damn it, I hate it when I'm an ape just eating mushrooms and then I eat the wrong one and I invent French. Sometimes I look back on my childhood memories and go, oh yeah. That was the ADHD. <laughs> you are not alone. There's bugs. Thanks, I hate it. I googled robot eat and was not disappointed. He's trying! The tone difference in foraging guides between native plants and invasive plants is literally so funny to read. Terry, I'ma need some examples. All right. Forging guide entry on native plants. Make sure you only take a small amount from a well-established patch. Leave some for the wildlife and yourself next year. Please get involved in land restoration programs to protect this plant for the future. Forging guide entry for Japanese knotweed. Rip, rip, tear, kill, rat, destroy. Eat, 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 eat. No, Zelda was the scientist. That little guy smashing pots is Zelda's monster. Oh, you've heard of the gay agenda, but have you heard of the queer quest? The pan plan? The sapphic schedule? The asexual arrangement? The bi big idea? The closeted course of action? Or my personal favorite, the demisexual disposition? Aw oh, man, my vibe test came back negative. Six out of ten posts, the joke hits, but it's not that funny. What the fuck? Today on Facts I Just Made Up, parrots can repeat nearly any phrase they're taught, but can't repeat most recent songs due to copyright issues. And that's why they need pirates. A Dark Souls-like game where the lore for the weapon gets less vague the more you upgrade it. The Broken Blade, a brittle sword. You can't seem to let it go. Unpolished Blade, a cherished weapon from ages past. Polished Blade, you remember something. Bride's Blade, your wife's sword. You know, at first I wanted to make this funny, but it just made me sad. Wife in the background. I'm still alive. Give that back. Honestly... It's probably for the best that what Pumpkin Studios crashed and burned as a video game developer. Can you imagine a world of sponsored YouTube videos where instead of the host banging on about RAID SHADOW LEGENDS, you just randomly get ambushed with, but first, let me tell you about Homestuck. Oh god damn it, the Fahrenheit defenders have logged on. My defense of Fahrenheit is that 69 degrees is ideal weather in Fahrenheit, but dead people weather in Celsius. Well, great news, everyone. I have decided to endorse Fahrenheit. When you make a great joke and even God approves of it. Hey! Hey! I can tell that I annoy some people. That they call me clingy, overexcited, or even just too happy to be around them. Like, it's fake. I won't lie. Some days, I do feel like I'm faking it. Because I'm afraid to upset people. I overthink. And I think about the day they'll be gone. <laughs> when I do, all I want to do is hold them and care for them. No matter how much I'm afraid they'll hate me for being too much for them. <laughs> 
then I feel stupid. Because they'll never see that side of me. What my existence is. And they'll always feel right. And when I reach that point, I go home to let out my feelings. Where I feel like I can do that without being judged. And some days... I feel like it's easier to just stay home. So, since we got a lot of duplicate questions, I took the most frequently asked ones this time around for this video. So, ready, CC? Ready! <laughs> Alrighty, question number one. It says Sienna has based her physical form on someone on Earth. Who were they? Oh, Tanya! Oh gosh, she was this beautiful Earthling model many decades ago. Someone who is considered the plus-sized to what Earth considered a normal size for humans. And she was very proud of her looks, shape, and height. To me, she was the most beautiful human I ever saw in my life. I also honored her life by carrying on her last name. Sadly, she never had anyone else to give it to. She was so sweet. I wish I got the chance to meet her. Qu questions here before we cry from the get-go. <clears throat> what happens to Sienna during odd moon phases like blood moon, super moon, blue moon, etc.? Oh, well, it's kind of a drawback to having made a physical form. My mentor has a similar problem during particular phases where they cannot control their dragon form. I <laughs> cannot control my bunny form. <laughs> Cute for the corners of the wear bunny. She becomes extra fluffy. Shush! You know that nickname embarrasses me! Fine, fine, question three. Did Sienna really not know what a waifu was? G g Listen, I cannot keep up with all the May Mays you Earthlings have. I feel like every day something new comes out that I have to research and understand. Yeah, but that came out like eons ago. A show called Azamanga Dio coined it. Azamanga what the now? <laughs> Never mind, question four. Oh god, this one. <sighs> is Sienna a space milf? What is the milf? Oh, wait, I know! The man I like frogs term! I have never seen a frog in space, but I do love the frogs on Earth! Hmm, <laughs> got him. Question five. Sienna can shapeshift. Is there a limit to what she can do? It's tricky. I can only really change my appearance, but not my height. So if someone asked me to shift into a cat, well, <laughs> I'd be a five foot two cat person thing. Before someone tells them us question six, what would happen if a werewolf was hugged or even touched by Sienna? Huh, you know, in all my years of living, I've never tried that. To be fair, it's not like a human would out themselves as a werewolf, and even then, most werewolves in cinema tend to look very mean, so I don't know if I could. Or if it was the werewolf from Van Helsing. <laughs> Hush, you! Question seven! Can Sienna go out in the rain? I can, although... <laughs> Grief and Asai have a hard time. <laughs> the moment they get hit with that water, Grief swells up and Asai becomes a long, wobbly noodle. <laughs> it's like those crazy things that you see in front of the... Um, the wobbly men, you know? Um, humans love them. They're always in front of, um, car dealerships, you know? <laughs> Let's move on to the last question before you bust a gut. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Final question. How does Sienna stay so happy? Um, honestly, I have my rough days. And that's okay. Everyone has rough patches. It was much harder when I was by myself for so long. But to have all these wonderful people, Grape, Asai, Shiro, Kevin, my friends on Earth, they give me reasons to smile more. And that no matter how rough the days get, as long as I know people out there will be there for me, even if it's just a simple message, I feel better. I hope that helps in some sort of way. 
but, but, but before we go, there is one final request from a certain someone. Grape asked you to translate this voice message for him. Huh? Oh, sure. Lean into the camera and say the phrase, Arara. Wait. You both tricked me! Gotta go, everyone. Bye! It's a cringe combination. Let's be a little bit more honest with ourselves. Okay, bye. Man, chickens really went off when they made eggs. Uh, eggs really went off when they made chicken. This is a real philosophical conundrum. Hmm. WTF, people actually tell the crushes they like them? Well, what the hell do you do? <laughs> I die. <laughs> What kind of question? Happy Pride Month to all my LGBTQ plus friends, and happy Kia Summer Sales Event to all my straight trademark friends. Very tiny animals fill me with both love and anxiety. You are divine, but please be careful. Thing exists. <gasps> Miniature version of thing exists. <gasps> Miniature version is functional. <gasps> Adventure Time slang is weird, cause like, when you first watch the show and hear the slang, you're like, oh, this is a cringy slang, but it's not like, awful. But it gets to the point where the voice actors deliver the slang so naturally, you don't even notice it, and it's just part of the world's vernacular. I can't think of any other show that's done in-universe slang like this. Finn be like, oh man, this frappin' dude just ginked up and went flippo over the junkin' fence. Me, three seasons into the show. Wow, he really did, huh? Hmm. My tummy kind of hurts. Guess I have going to die disease. I ate one banana, now I'm gonna live forever. Tonight's headline, anti-gay group leader's wife leaves him for another woman. All right, stop. If this isn't the best thing you haven't seen all day, then I don't know what to tell you. No offense, but do I look like I understand anything? A niche character trope I like is the person who is a nice, good person and acts well-adjusted. Then they do something where it's like, Oh, you're secretly a little bit insane, actually. I mean, I guess I could try dressing as an actual member of society instead of a disheveled, hungover swamp witch, but the question is, why? Try to stay cool this summer? I hate you. This is a man who flirts with death. He's eating ice cream, which is brutal cannibalism. He isn't even completely in the shade, and yet he fixes the viewer with a smug look, as if to challenge us. As if to challenge the gods of death themselves. I mean, just just try to stay cool, you know? Hey, nice frontal lobe. Don't mind if I stir like a latte. <laughs> ah, the procedure was a success. Sometimes art is finished, and sometimes art is just at the point where if you have to look at it for another minute, you'll snap and commit crimes! I'm very passionate about STEM. Soup to eat, mm! Imagine being the guy who discovered microorganisms trying to explain to people that you promise there are millions of little secret guys on everything. Thanks, I hate it. Indie horror games are like, you are in a house. Concept! Jeff Bezos' Orden story film where his mother's chased off a cliff by a horde of angry Amazon workers. Hey man, the idiots are all gonna go down the Little League field to laugh at baseball fanatics who's coming. Explain Kingdom Hearts. Well, it's a fun game for ten-year-olds, except there's constant existential dread and multiple people being ruthlessly murdered and the ever-looming threat that your friends will turn on you against their will. Oh, and Mickey, Donald, and Goofy are there. Donald dies in one scene. It, is, is the Kingdom Hearts fandom okay? We've never been okay. Guys, <laughs> watch his hair blatantly intersect with the lockers. So my college animation professor worked on Jimmy Neutron, and he was just like, Listen, yeah, we knew. We just didn't have the time or money to care. The power would go out the studio at least once a week, and they would have to just leave until it came on the next day. Jimmy Neutron's production team saw some shiz. I had a guest speaker come to my class that worked on Jimmy Neutron as an animator and said it was basically a fever dream. I think we need a documentary slash oral history about the making of Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Dude, stop telling me to count Dracula. I've only ever seen the one. That's why they keep telling you. You haven't counted the others. Huh? Huh? 
ADHD is really just like me in the middle of a breakdown still crying. Ooh, I should redesign this OC of mine. It's really annoying to get bored of your emotional breakdown while you're having an emotional breakdown. Me, impatient as trauma is actually happening. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to wade through the five stages over this again? Can I just, like, you know, skip it? I don't zone out. Being zoned out is my default state, and I occasionally zone back in to check how things are going. Reality is just one of the hundreds or so tabs I keep running at any given time. Ah, you! You get it. You're NB, but you call yourself a bitch. Bitch is a female dog, by the way. Why? I am on the floor. Didn't you know bitch and bastard are gendered terms, and thus you must use the neutral bitchard? Please, a bitchard was my father. Just call me dick. When I was 12, I got banned from Yahoo Answers, and when I emailed support to be like, what did I do? I got a really vague answer that just said, you know what you did. And it still haunts me to this day. I throw pies at short people asks, how tall are you? This is a direct threat. Attention everyone, horny bard is canceled. We're bringing the dad bard to the table. Bardic inspiration, because I believe in you champ. Vicious mockery, it's all dad jokes. Seducing NPCs? Nope, we're using persuasion to get them to give you information you need because I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Jack of all trades? Yeah, your old dad knows a little bit about everything. Song of rest? It's called tucking you in and giving you a bedtime story. And be the one to split up party treasure and tell them that this is their allowance. Mix up your game, put your pot in a polo shirt and cargo shorts, hit that party with some big dad energy. But guys, dad bard with the dad bard. Guys, did I ever tell you about the time I completely accidentally ruined a professionally made campaign for D&D &D and thanks to a single roll? Please explain. Okay, so we had to fight our way to the bottom of a castle to stop a group of cultists from summoning an orc god to the world, and we got there, and the ritual was already going. So I ran up to the god, who had already begun to manifest, and cast Finger of Death, which kills any target it touched if they fail a fortitude roll. Since he was a god, he had good constitution and would have certainly survived. Except the DM rolled a one and the god exploded. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. I love it. What if I get inside your mind and make you gay and then leave? I won't let you leave. Well, what am I supposed to do in here? Do it again. Make me gayer. Hey. Shout out to every Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon that can only speak in caps. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss this, and mansplain, manipulate, male wife that. What about reduce, reuse, recycle? Hey, you. You yeah, onto something. Dark emails. To whom it will concern. Now that this email has found you. I hope this email finds you before I do. Please stop. My Roomba is scared of thunderstorms. I was sitting at my desk just a few minutes ago, drawing, and a really loud crack of thunder went off. No power surges or anything, just thunder. And my Roomba fled from its dock and started spinning in circles. I currently now have an active Roomba sitting quietly on my lap. <sighs> Humans will pack bond with anything. Why should LGBT spaces cater to trans and non-binary people? <clears throat> That's the tea, sis. <laughs> I just spat out my tea. <gasps> my tea, oh my god! Mm -hmm. Pipe check. I have an overwhelming urge to make bad decisions, trademark, and no one will let me! Section 5. Washington's army did not receive any support from Godzilla. I mean, well, it's technically true. So my history teacher would give you half a point or quarter point for an answer that was not wrong. This was not wrong. Behold, Icelandic sheep. Where are they going? To Valhalla! Kind of fucked up and nasty how many vampires drink blood, in my opinion. Like, Pepsi costs a dollar seventy-five. Okay, where are you when you're getting Pepsi for a dollar seventy-five? That shit's like two thirty minimum. Hospital. Who the fuck is paying two thirty for a Pepsi? Not me. I'm paying a dollar seventy-five at the hospital. I pay like two fifty, but I'm Canadian. 
I feel like we're getting off topic. Blood is free? So is Pepsi if you steal it. Why does OP get their Pepsi from the hospital? Because it's only $1.75. Why in God's name would a vampire drink Pepsi? Well, why would anyone drink Pepsi? Ah, found the femboy. Wait, what? Huh? Am I having a stroke? Yeah, I think I'm having a stroke. You might want to go to a hospital then. I hear the Pepsi is cheaper there. <sighs> and that's why I'm not a fan of sexy vampire trope. It's overused and supports current status quo of the typical vampire supremacy, worshipping rich folk. Vampires prey upon humans and therefore symbolize capitalists preying on the working class. And three, werewolves are much sexier in my opinion. Constantly wants to draw things outside of my artistic abilities. <sighs> I don't know if you know this, but I put the bye in bitch. Final note for the day, sheep can die from heat exhaustion if they aren't sheared. Also, their skin secretes lanolin, which quickly soothes and heals any nicks they get during shearing. In conclusion, it is good to peel the sheeps. Please peel your sheeps! When you are lonely, I'll be right here. When you are sad and your heart's full of fear. Don't be scared, darling, I'll always be near Here to hold your hand and tell you It's gonna be okay